Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video I got a couple of very interesting stories for you guys and the first one we're starting with is Samson Daura and his physique update at 14 weeks out of Mr. Olympia so as you can see he is back home, he is not in Kuwait right now that does not mean that this video is old or that he is not gonna go back to Kuwait as you can see he tags the auction gym as well and from what I know he's gonna go back to Kuwait soon and stay there for a long time almost up until the Mr. Olympia now, as far as his physique at this point, one thing is very apparent, very obvious, he looks freaking massive, he looks freaking huge, bigger than ever, I would say. I think he grew from last year, I think he's bigger than he was last year at the Mr. Olympia, or at least 14 weeks out of last year's Mr. Olympia, so he definitely added more muscle, did he need to add more muscle? Well, I don't think it's gonna hurt him, that's for sure. But did he already have enough muscle last year? Yeah, he probably did. Compared to the other top guys, he is just as big. But I wouldn't say he's bigger. I mean, he's bigger because he's taller, but like pound for pound, I think Hari Japan, for example, and uh, Derek Lansford as well are like packing more muscle. They look rounder. They look actually uh, bigger for their frames. So maybe if, uh, if Samson was in, let's say, I don't know, hottest conditioning from the Arnold Classic, if Samson was in that kind of conditioning last year, maybe he would look too small. Maybe he wouldn't match all these top guys, like Harry, like Derek, like Nick. Maybe he needed like to be a little bit off with conditioning to match their size, because, you know, he's a tall guy, he needs a lot of muscle. But now that he got even bigger, let me show you his photo from last year's Mr. Olympia. Because I'm sure you guys remember Samson's physique from the Arnold Classic, but he actually made improvements. From the Mr. Olympia to that Arnold Classic. No, from the Arnold Classic until now, maybe he made even more improvements, but it's not that significant. But compared to the last year's Mr. Olympia, I think it's very noticeable. Especially in the shoulders, arms, and the back. I'm gonna show you the back in a moment. So as you can see right here, it's not his best, the most muscular pose, but still. Even in the front double bicep, like you can see that Samson is the biggest man, but if you compare his arms to those of Hari and Derek, you will see that uh, Samson's arms were a little bit flatter, also the lats, they're not popping out as much, and then the back also, not the widest, not the thickest, the smallest back out of these three right here, so like he wasn't really the biggest guy, he was the biggest man, but you know, pound for pound, he was like probably like equal in size, if you consider his legs, which are massive, and his chest is also great, and like from the side, he had a lot of thickness, so the point that I'm trying to make is, and I've seen these comments, people are saying that he is like too big, that there is no reason for him to grow anymore, there is a reason for him to make more progress, because also the other guys are also potentially gonna get bigger, so he needs to at least match them, or potentially, hopefully, because I'm cheering for Samson, potentially get even bigger than them, and if he improves conditioning, it might very well be enough to beat them. At the Arnold Classic this year, however, Samson was already a little bit improved in terms of muscularity, like his arms were rounder, the biceps were more peaky, the lats were popping out more, he was simply bigger, better. His shoulders were also rounder, but you know, it was Hadi at his absolute best ever, so that was very difficult to beat, even from the back, Samson improved, and I think he improved even more after the Arnold Classic, right now he is improving as we're speaking. So the point that I'm trying to make is he can still grow, he can still improve and get bigger, even though he's a freaking mass monster, there is still more progress to be made. And uh, as far as conditioning for 14 weeks out, you know, it's okay, as long as he keeps improving it, as long as it doesn't stagnate, which is something I'm worried about, of course, we all are, we never saw Samson at his absolute best conditioning, but if he nails it once... That's all it's gonna take, him figuring it out once, nailing it once, and let's be real, nobody can challenge this guy if he's on, if he's truly on. And with the improvements, we saw already the Arnold Classic, and with some more improvements that he, I think, will make in the Oxygen Gym, now training and prepping for the Mr. Olympia, in my prediction video, I'll probably have him winning the Mr. Olympia. I mean, I know it's difficult to, to predict something like that, it's all about conditioning and he never brought it so far, but I still have high hopes for this guy, I still believe he can do it, and if he does it, it's game over, we all know that. Alright, the next thing is also very interesting, it's Ramon Dino, finally posting a physique update, it's not just this one photo, I'm gonna show you the others, but this guy is rarely ever posting anything, and... Uh, 
this time around, at 14 weeks out, he looks really good. Really freaking good. He looked much worse, like 8 weeks out of the Arnold Classic. Where he, as we all know, lost his Arnold Classic title and with it also his number 2 position in the world. Wesley beat him at his show. Granted, Ramon wasn't at his absolute best at his show, he started prepping very, very late. I believe it wasn't until 6 weeks out he started dieting. He took some serious time off after the Mr. Olympia and he thought he can easily win this show, but he was wrong and he lost a lot. And maybe that was a wake-up call, it seems like it was, because right now, again at 14 weeks out, he looks nuts. I don't think he looked like this last year before the Mr. Olympia, I think he took this time after the Arnold Classic to actually have a productive rebound period, like he probably did some reverse dieting, he was probably focused on training, on eating the right foods and so on, and I think he made progress, I think he definitely looks you know, a lot harder and fuller than usual at 14 weeks out. Plus, on top of it all, he stayed in really good conditioning this entire off-season. So now he doesn't have to start dieting aggressively, he can just, you know, slowly cruise into the show, still make progress, still eat a lot of food, and, you know, just come in super fresh, super full, and, like, as thick as possible. And uh, I don't know if, if Wesley can beat him again. I mean, it's gonna be a really good battle. I mean, last year he was in a top two callout with Chris Bumstead, Chris was a lot better, Chris is in a different league, but maybe now that he's so driven, you know, so focused, because he wants to avenge himself, he wants to redeem himself after losing the Arnold Classic, maybe because he's so driven and focused, maybe he goes so far that he actually gives Chris Bumps to the run for his money. I mean, last year, I wouldn't say that that was the case, it was a pretty clear victory for Chris, but maybe this time around something changes, maybe he brings something absolutely ridiculous, and Chris comes a little bit off, I don't know, but I think this guy is gonna look crazy on that Mr. Olympia stage. This year's Mr. Olympia is gonna be so freaking interesting, not just the Open, but the Classic as well. Now we have the new and improved Wesley Vissers, and also, I think a much better version of Ramon Dino that we haven't seen so far. So it's gonna be epic, it's gonna be crazy, and we have a lot of newcomers as well, and one of them, I mentioned many times, but I'm gonna have to do it in this video as well, because he's two days out, or one day out, and at this point, in these photos, ah, Stefan Matala looks absolutely insane. Guys, guys, seriously, have you ever seen chest separated like this? Think, think of anybody. I'm trying, I'm trying to figure out, was there anybody with chest looking like it was literally cut out of stone like this? I don't think there is anybody. This is the first time, I think, in history of bodybuilding that I'm seeing something like this. This is absolutely insane, it's mind-boggling. How is this even possible? How can somebody have chest separation deep like this? <laughs> I know he's working with Patrick Tour, and Patrick really had him dig deep for this conditioning, and Patrick usually brings his guys in really good conditioning, but I think this is, this is mainly genetic. I mean, you can't, be, you can't build this. If you don't have this, like, uh, for example, Derek Lansford, no matter how low his body fat percent goes, he will never have this kind of chest rations. And there are guys who would argue with me and say that it's possible to change it with training. I believe, for example, Chris Cormier is a trainer who is, uh, who, who is known for believing in, like, uh, the ability to change the, the shape of your muscle or, like, to create separation with, you know, training a certain way, like squeezing a lot or with a lot of posing. And I'm sure you can improve it to a certain extent. When you're training like that and when you're doing a lot of posing, you can create a better mind-to-muscle connection. So you can like squeeze all the fibers that you have, but can just anybody get to this point? Yeah, no, no, I don't think so. This has to be mainly genetic, but this is the first time Stefan has got this freaking shredded. He was never this lean, not even close. And he is competing this weekend at the Portugal Pro, which I believe he's gonna win easily. And it will qualify him for the Mr. Olympia, but he was qualified even last year. He decided not to compete for some reason, he had some personal issues, I can't really remember what it was, but he didn't show up. But if he shows up this year, with this kind of conditioning, phew, what do you guys think, where can he place? Can he be top 5, top 8? I think he can be top 10, top 8, but top 5? There is so many guys he can be in that top 5, but yeah, I think Stefan Matala potentially is one of those guys. 
because now he is truly peeled head to toe from the back from the front everything is really conditioned i think this guy is gonna kill it this year what do you guys think tell me down below if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and if you guys are looking for coaching this summer and you don't want to hire a coach who has like 300 clients you need somebody who's gonna devote themselves to you and who is also very affordable you can hire me just go to my instagram you can see my other clients and so on you can just dm me and we can agree on it and uh, start working anyways guys if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe for more content like this thank you so much for watching see you soon all the best and bye bye